Have you ever picked up an object, looked at it and thought to yourself, that could be a robot? No, just me then. Okay, moving swiftly on. I found these in uh, a local store and straight away I just looked at them and thought I could make robots out of them. So that's what I did. First things first, sand everything down so then when you start gluing bits to the uh, actual plastic, it'll stick. So already in my head, um, the guy that I'm holding now is going to have legs or wheels or something like that. Um, and the other one I thought would look better sort of hovering. So um, once I stuck this lid back on, this guy, I'm just going to put a hole in his uh, underneath. Uh, it was better than saying bottom. Ha ha ha, you sounded so posh then. Bottom. Well, for my American viewers, um, a bum is total different reference to a bottom. I, well, hang on just a minute. I can't believe we're talking about bums, bottoms. Anyway, back to the build. I dug out some wheels from an old build and uh, decided to stick them on. Wasn't going with the legs. I thought wheels look better on this guy. Um, so just sticking them on, just using normal super glue that you can buy in the shops, supermarkets, that sort of stuff. Now Q-tips or cotton buds. Um, unfortunately, they're not plastic anymore. They're all made of paper. But that helps me because I can move them and bend them. Oh, here's a, here's a quick alert for... Uh, don't try this at home kids, uh, only professionals uh, can use a flame. Uh, unfortunately I'm not a professional and I did use the flame so don't copy me. But what I'm doing here is I'm just, uh, I wet the hands, these little fingers from some jewellery kit making thing that I have. Um, I don't make jewellery by the way, uh, these hands were for some sort of bracelets. Anyway, um, just going to bend them slightly so uh, they look better than just being stuck out like you know action man hands that's what I'm trying to say um, so what I did now is just glued it to the uh, q-tip or cotton bud and then using some uh, very thin styrene just uh, cut a strip and then stuck it onto the arm so it didn't look as obvious as uh, what it is which is a q-tip a bent q-tip if at any point in this video you see my uh, right arm start to uh, slightly shake or wobble, don't panic. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me, apart from I slept wrong the night before and have a trapped nerve in my arm, um, which every so often will just do random things like start to wobble. Anyway. Uh, didn't make four arms, made three. I thought the uh, one of the robots could just do with one arm. Um, and you'll see the uh, the beauty of that because I give him a guitar, so he's a one-armed guitar player robot. It makes sense to me. Next, I grab my uh, go-to Greeblies, which is uh, tank parts. I usually just uh, buy cheap and cheerful tank um, kits just so I can use the uh, little parts for uh, my builds and I'm just going to use some hubcaps just to cover up the wheels because you could tell that they were Lego wheels or like what Lego. Then I felt this uh, one of the robots needed a backpack so I'm just going to quickly rustle up a backpack and then cover up the name that I hadn't spotted because it was embossed into the plastic and that's an easy fix because I'm just going to use some uh, of the uh, styrene and just uh, cover the name over. Job done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can't believe you just said that. Neither can I. Do you think anybody would notice? Let's just play it cool. Good thinking. Back to the build. So what I'm just doing now, I'm just putting some eyes and bits and pieces onto the robots using uh, light Lego again and then uh, drilling a, a hole for the uh, this robot's arm. I really must try and find my uh, bigger and better Dremel that I have. This USB one is terrible 
And then this was from, um, I think it was a suitcase from the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car that I made a few uh, videos ago. I'm just going to make it into a camera. And then it's time to assemble all the robots. And amazingly, I remembered which part was for which robot. This a bad time to say something. No, George, fire away. Groovy. Since you've made it this far into the video, how about smashing the like button and while your finger's there, hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks you groovy cats. We appreciate you. Thanks George. Now this stuff is extruded polystyrene board. I still can't get hold of any XPS board so I thought I'd try this um, because it's uh, packed tighter than just the normal polystyrene stuff where once you cut it you've got millions of little balls and stuff like that flying about. This stuff is um, a lot better, a lot easier to use and the hot glue gun doesn't melt it which was nice. So I'm just going to make a base and um, yep you can see me there just testing it. Sticks really well with the hot glue. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is going to make some bricks which means I'm going to cut out lots of strips and then cut them into tiny little bits to make bricks. And when I say I made a lot of bricks, I made a lot of bricks. Not for this build, well some for this build, but I was thinking ahead and thought well while I've got the time um, I'll just make extra bricks. Uh, so I'm just going to make a little wall on one of the corners and then hit it with uh, just normal black acrylic. I'd already tested it and it was uh, non-porous which was nice so I didn't have to coat it with Mod Podge first. And then I'm just going to hit the bricks with uh, just some a dry brush of grey just to try and bring out some of the texture. And then it's on to PVA glue on the base and then just going to start putting the uh, scenic uh, stuff down. So I put the base to one side uh, to let it dry and then decided to paint the robots. Now these are all just normal acrylic paints. Uh, this one it was midnight blue and then this is like a metallic red. Decided the robots needed transfers so I just uh, cut some transfers out and uh, let them soak for a bit. The idea for this build was basically robots visiting Earth thousands of years from now. Uh, so that's hence why the camera. Uh, for the guitar, I'm not sure other than the other robot may serenade the other robot. Robot love. I like it. Peace out and all that jazzy stuff. Yeah, thanks George. Um, doing my favourite little trick with the uh, silver sharpie, just going along the edges just to make it look like chipping. And it'll be on to the glamour shots.
You have been watching Terrain by Aaron. Keep scratching that build. And stay classy. Until next time.